Okay, I want you to look at her handwork. Just her handwork. And the first thing I want you to see is, where does she carry her hands? When you run to the ball, can you carry them too low? Can you get them up too early? It's really important. Watch her. Let's just watch her hand work here. Look at her hands. We call this simple, simple, and smooth. It's really a simple move. Katie, let's go. Here we go. Let's get reps. Look at her hands. Just look at her hands. Look at that. So she's carrying them. She's running. And then as she makes her three steps and turns, they come up to here. And then she goes to here. And she's behind the ball. And she's taking the ball pretty high. And she's got power behind the ball. And she takes the ball in the same spot every time. Because a good middle is going to read her from here. And they're going to see if she's turning to do this. And then a middle's going to go to here. And if a setter does this when she goes back set, they're gone. Watch her hands. Look at that. Really simple. But here's what I see with you guys. I see two things. I see this. Or I see this. And I want to see this. Look at that. Okay, now there's some variation in the ball shape hands. It's like the NBA. Maybe Jerry West was the perfect shooter, or that guy Curry from Golden State. But there's a lot of pure shooters with a little variation. But I see all of them square up. I see all of them facing the basket. But this is a little different. We're going to redirect the ball here. This is common. This is common. This, there's some variation. Rod Wild set different than Dusty Dvorak. Jeff Stork was different than both of them. Jenna is different than Courtney on the release. But they're all the best setters. But I did see this. Watch extension here. Kind of like a chess pass in basketball. They're using their elbows. They're straightening their arms. And they're extending to a target. And look at how they finish the move. And then look at how they're thinking when they go back to make an adjustment. They're very connected mentally to this drill. So this is the handwork. And they got to figure out if they need to go more vertical in their extension or more horizontal in their extension. And they got to find that range because sets are different. We have a hut, we have a go, we have a fast, 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 we have a quick set, we have a back set, we got back row sets. So we got to figure out our hand positioning and release. Now they're starting to pinpoint the ball. Okay, let's start looking at their footwork. And I don't want you to watch early, watch late. Just watch what they do. I see a little right, left, right. 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 right. There's some variation in the pass. Right, left, right. Joe, pass the ball over here and let's see what happens. Right, left, right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just saw Jenny do this.
I didn't see her do this. I saw her start to square and extend. She took the ball in the same spot. Square and extend. I see your kids do this. And I see these guys just going right, left, right, right, left, right. Watch. Right, left, right. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Katie, does the location change? No. When does it change? Yeah, if you're in trouble, if you're in big trouble, but you're a good setter, you move right, you're not in trouble a lot, then we're going to change and be a little bit conservative. And maybe when we bump set. But I like that because I see girls going this way and they set over this way. And this movement, this movement, this movement allows you to redirect the ball better. Come on, you guys. Think about that. You know, we do this other stuff where we have to... This movement allows a better set. And that's your job. Watch her. Both of them. I love the speed. I like the mechanics. Come on, we're in the NFL. We got to do it right. Look at how she's holding her hands. It's just it's so simple. Okay, Joe, pass the ball here now. We're going to go tight. Pass it tight and look where they stop. Here we go. Look at that. So now let's look at this. She's going one, two, three, shuffle, and then right, left, right, even a shuffle there. So do we need a person here? Do we want our target here? Well, we talked about deviation. And if we have the target here, maybe we get the setter in trouble one time instead of six times. And then she's redirecting the ball by facing the ball. She's not here. She's facing the ball. And this movement is an easy movement. Watch them. And we just practice it. It becomes easier. Look at that, right, left, right. It keeps the hitter in rhythm. Way to do your job, Jen. Katie, do your job. That's a girl. Look at her footwork. Look at that. Look at how they're kind of standing up. They're preparing. Yeah, that's why we don't want to pass tight. But Look at that, good move. So that's row one. And that's how we're going to move from row one. I want you guys to come from row two. Okay, we put you up here. We got our opposite here. We got our quick hitter here. Watch their footwork here. Look at that move. Okay, here's what I see, Katie. Right, left, right, left. And notice the angle. Watch the movement. And it gets them in a good position to run down a pass, to set quick, to set back row, to set overhead. Look at that. Okay, uh, move them around a little. There you go. Look at that. Look at the shuffle, gets her ready to go. It's kind of like a little split step. Katie. God, do that all the time. <laughs> Look at that. That's a good set. Look at that. She can set, get to every ball with three steps, not six, not five. She goes three. We can cover some ground. 
Oh, wait, look at that. She went to her left. I was waiting for that. And what'd she do? Left, right, left. Hands are the same. The same is the same. Left, right, left. Pass some balls over there. Okay, this is the hardest set in volleyball. I'm here. We pass over here. I got to move here. I got to set 30 feet. And I got to keep the hitter in rhythm. I can't jack it. I got to keep her in rhythm. Let's work on it. Okay, make her work. Make her work. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, this is hard. If you have good mechanics, it's not about strength. You got to finish your move, Jenny. Finish your move to the target. Look at that move. Yeah, it's hard. It's like a three-point shot. Look at that move. A little tight. Okay, let's go to row three. Okay, now remember, I've seen two matches lost on overlaps. We never overlap. We got to know, respective, adjacent, you know. And so right now she's passing. But let's say our outside hitter's struggling. So you can come from here. And what's the movement going to be? Yeah, three, turn, get ready to go. Watch, here we go. One, two, three, spin. Okay, I used to teach this because it just made sense to me. If the ball comes this way, I'm going to turn this way. And if the ball comes this way, I'm going to turn this way. So I had two different movements. Then to be honest with you, McGowan saw it and started yelling at me and told me, you're, you're an idiot for doing it this way. So we did it this way every time. And you're turning, and you got to see and know the server. you got to pay attention. Good setters see and know what's going on way over there. They know what kind of serve it is. Is it a tough serve? Is it a short serve? Is it at angles? Because it's hard to go. Can I get my right shoulder and keep everything in front of me? Sometimes I can't because they're good servers. But this is the best movement here. Okay, get out of the blocks with a big step. You take a little step, we're dead. There you go. Nice, good move. Jenny, that turn was a little late. Okay, Kimmer, come from over here and let's make it tough on these guys because this happens. Yeah, good move. Okay, now remember this. We pulled the outside hitter up. She's struggling right now. We're in plan B. And plan B means you got to come from here. You can't overlap and come from here. Setters are very aware. Setters know the deal. Setters know the trends. Setters know what they're doing. Setters know what their teams are doing. Setters are organizing the floor. Setters are in charge. We talk about intangibles. What does the intangible guy say? I'm going to run this team. We're going to win this match. I'm going to set a lot of quick today. 15's a bad blocker, and I'm going to go at her. Intangibles. We got to have intangibles. Okay, now you got to be aware. Here we go. Good move. A little bit tougher move. They made us change. Well, we changed back. Okay, come from over there, Kimmer. Okay, now this is hard because I'm going to get, I can't get to here. And then every once in a while, go short and get into traffic, and let's see what these guys do. Okay, we got to deal with that. That's going to happen. So I got to get in a position where I can deal with that. You know, you can deal with that. Here we go. Good move. This is a little harder. Now I'm facing the ball over there. Yeah, look at that. 
turns with the ball. Good move. And then one year, we had a screwed up formation where our setters came from here. I don't know if Marv remembers this, but we were at SC and we were playing at Pepperdine and Marv had a jump server hitting. And back then we were playing 15 points and the guy went on a 12 point run. Pepperdine hammered us and the setter came from here and it was a stupid coaching decision that allowed this. So don't do it, get over here. All right, here we go. Good move. Okay, can you do me a favor, just jump down and catch on the right side. 